It's time for YouTube again, and uh, it's getting to be beer 30 here in the Hillbilly Hills, but since the uh, this heat's calmed down a little bit, I'm going to work a little bit later. And uh, here in my, uh, it's going to be a shorter video, we, we had a failed rescue. Uh, you got to see, you folks got to see where this truck is stuck in this old Oldsmobile dealership. It's stuck up in the second floor. And uh, since it's, un we, we can't power it, and it's too, it's, it's like a bear cave in there. It's too dark to work on it. So I'm going to give you your Hillbilly Hills tip of the week with these angle grinders. Did you see this? One of my favorite summertime friends. How do you cut a radius into a panel? That's my first uh, perk here. See that? Okay. My buddy's moron dad says, why don't you throw those away? You see this? This is solid gold to me, to Uncle Dutch. Okay. The smaller the wheel... Get it? The smaller the diameter of the wheel, the tighter the radius. So, until these are a stump, just about like this, but not quite. That's broke, but they're very close. They're, they're about maybe half an inch of material. Uh, that's when they're junk. Okay. Now, we're trying to rescue this truck's uh, brother. My son's truck's brother has a uh, Silverado. And it is stuck up in this old Oldsmobile dealership down in downtown uh, Hazleton, uh, another Democrat-run shithole. This is how far we got with the frame. This got to get welded and seam sealed. I, if not, I'm going to rivet it. But this is because it was starting to rot through behind the hangers. And he never bought me the, uh, the goop to put behind him. So we're just going to wool wax the hell out of that. That's a good place for wool wax. Once they're coated with the Raptor liner, uh, they're pretty golden. I usually like to do the back side of them with the Raptor liner. But in this case, having stain the, the uh, galvanized steel against it, it's not necessary. But this truck was in such deplorable shape. Okay, fuel tanks rot, rotten out. Uh, Two-year-old fuel tank or two-and-a-half-year-old dormant tank. That's leaking. That's getting replaced. And uh, this weekend when he comes up, we're going to put the, uh, we got to clear coat the top of the cab is because, you know, these young people, all they want to do is work, work, work. Okay. We got to do the brakes, the, the rest of the lines and then put the new, the new, uh, calipers and pads. Those rotors I think are fine. Those rotors are pretty meaty. They actually make a pretty hefty rotor for these trucks. I don't know what they're making today. And the Franken Ford is getting close to going home. We got a delay because of, number one, the truck rescue. Uh, a friend was in an accident, and uh, the frame is a little off, I think. And with the bed being twisted, uh, th this was a real... It's a real problem when you, you can't really get plumb and level because the cab mounts are all out of whack. The cab mounts are rotting out of this truck. The mounts, not and, and the bushings, okay? He just really needs a cab... And it is what it is, okay? It's a 20, it's gonna be a 26 year old truck, and it is what it is, but it's a lot better. I mean, he's, like I said, he's not gonna get much longer out of this cab. Uh, it will wax or not, it, it just, it, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna do it. But with the new steel that's welded in here, and he's in a rockers, it, as I keep saying, it's an is what it is type of project. And this is my favorite handsome little devil, this guy. Because, like I said, this is a product that really works on frames. And they really could sell it as a frame coating and then probably jack the price up three times. You, you know, once uh, once a corporate entity catches on to it. And uh, as I said, we're going to have another... Uh, I have another wool wax uh, use, believe it or not. Um, if you have a pussy cat, if you have a kitty and it likes cl climbing on top of cars, old orange cat just learned a real hard lesson. So I had to take some, uh, some with the pre-wash, you know, the pre-wash stuff, the real soapy shit, and I took a little M.E.K. and that was an even bigger meow out of him. So he climbed on top of the, the frame, and I heard a uh, feline, oh shit! He was out by the barn, and I'm like, oh, what happened, Orange Cat? And I saw the black slate. He's he was looking at his paw, and it, his eyes were all bugged out, like, what the hell is this shit? I said, okay, well, you did it, you know. So, uh, 
Anyway, wool wax has another use. It'll keep your pussycat from climbing on your work. <laughs> anyway, thank you for uh, watching my video. So, hopefully you guys um, that don't know how to cut a radius into a panel and stuff like that, and you wonder how the pros do it, uh, freehand and stuff like that. Now, like I said, I'm very adept at doing this type of stuff. It's just a natural talent. You're going to have to work at how to control this, not be afraid of it, and hold it solid. Okay? You can't. This is a tool. You can't be afraid of it. If it bucks, if it kicks, you got to keep control of the tool. Don't let the tool control you because it's going to injure you. And this will cut an artery even with a... This ain't a saw blade, but it'll still cut an artery. Just as easy. So, anyway, that's my Hillbilly Hills tip of the week and video. And we're going to continue our failed rescue of that truck. I'm trying to coordinate with a towing company and uh, gaining access to the building is the problem. And I'm on the guy's back. Okay, I want the truck. I want the truck here, but I don't want it. You know, any games. You, you know, what's I, I, I you know, because you got to call a towing company. They take forever to get there. They got to stop and eat donuts, sniff the gas pump, talk to the hookers behind it. Forget it. Anyway, that's my video. So uh, enjoy. All right, we're gonna have uh, probably, hopefully, a better year next year. Thank you.